Testing one, two. Testing one, two. <clears throat> Welcome back, Wolfpack. Hope the weekend has, has treated you well. And, uh... Today I figured, because I had gotten a couple of requests for it, um... From a couple of friends that watch me, IRL, I figured we'd try and watch a bit, uh, play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2. Figured it'd be fun. First off, as always, a quick shout out to everyone who followed me off stream. Tefu Win. Oh, wait, there we go. Niko Marasukiyo, thank you for the most recent follow. Lunori Amara, thank you for the follow. Haunted Blooms, thank you for the follow. And I believe, if I haven't already said, Tefu Winter and Bijou the Fox. I don't know if I uh, thanked you guys last stream, but just to be safe, thank you for the follow as always. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get right into the game, shall we? Let's make sure the game capture picks it up. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see, right? Okay, let's try that again. Let's hope at least I can play the game without my VC face. Because, uh, now I'm starting to get concerned. Okay. Got at least something going here. Certainly hoping that the game is actually able to function properly. Let's begin, shall we? Jump right into the story. Make sure the volume is decent. Sometimes my uh, I do believe my avatar may cause some issues when uh, trying to stream games. Apparently, that's happened before with League of Legends, so might have to look into that as well. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Oh, gotta make sure, real quick. Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still roam, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. presents Red Dead Redemption 2 Nope. Volume 
might be a little too loud. The microphone seems to be picking it up. He's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh, Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Interesting. Interesting. Chapter one. Cool. And because I accidentally ran into a bit of an error starting off the stream, uh, Nico Malas. Bring him in here. Thank you for the follow, Lunori Emera. Thank you for the follow, Haunted Blooms. Thank you for the follow. And Tefu Winter and Ryu the Fox, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate your guys' support. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Always fun riding into a Listen. blizzard. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But. We are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. Very good. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Hell Arthur. Yeah, all right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so. They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Fair fun. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. 
Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire shelter. That's a start. Very well. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But wait, is that someone coming towards us? I got better eyes than I do. That. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. <laughs> I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Hitch up here. Oh. What are, are you, you doing? Running like an idiot? Bottom right in. 
to somebody? Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you can take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Thank you, Kevin. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying mm. on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. What's up? Folks. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Oh. No, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food in the wagon. Oh, uh, here you just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now. Want the gun? Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! Nope. Look out! There's more to pass! Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. All we right. need the essentials: food, medicine, whiskey, and vegetables. Oh, not R. Or not E. Thor. Oh, Driscolls. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Ah, if you wanted to try and catch this little Pokemon that's on the stream now. Oh, jeez. You can type exclamation point Pokeball to try and catch it. Get your strength up for the ride back. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Down. Deal with the balls. Center. Really search the house for loot? Welcome, Rebel. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. Hello. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really Something want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Health yours. Meet 
chest Alright, that's everything in there A little bit of jewelry Oh, got a drawer search Premium cigarettes Try and find whiskey, right? I haven't found any whiskey yet. Ah. What's taking so long in there? It's called a thorough search. Just let me finish searching the place. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. All right. Sure. Oh, hello. Where's Como Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Any anything else you know? What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Please spare me. I promise you, you won't see me again, Arthur. Just let me go. Come on. I don't know. What'd you think? I, I just do what I'm told, spare. please. Yeah, get out of here. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Go. I got my gun. Hang on. Are you too late to try and shoot him? Yeah, my bad. I 
I'll probably die in the store. That's true. That's <laughs> very true. Anyway, that looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Get away from me! <laughs> My God, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Ooh, I was out in the cellar. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you... Oh, jeez, Michael. Look at her. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss. Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Damn, Micah. You okay, man? They came so three days ago. And my husband, they... they okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Not anymore. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. We weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, no. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to hey, bed. Yo. Watch that now. Ooh, flashbang. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... 
I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Have you? Yes. Have you? Will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Concerned. Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And... He'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed <laughs> fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. I see the tracks on the right of me. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Oh, oh geez. They continue along the cliff oh, wall geez. here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Yes, I, uh... Bad business, all right. If you hadn't already, uh... seen... Damn I added a little coming in hot again. Day. You'll lose these tracks uh, if you don't move fast. If you want to try and play, all I gotta do is, um... I believe it's exclamation star... starter? to get yourself a starter Pokemon and exclamation Pokeball to try and catch uh, wild Pokemon that come into the chat. <laughs> I figure it might be a little, have a little bit of entertainment to the stream. Watch yourself, it's not very wide here. If anything, I can try and pause the game real quick and look at the commands again. If got one. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Over there! Did you see that? Beautiful. I was running a little issue, also learning my avatar with it. 
John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's, let's see if he can hear us. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Shotgun. Grab your shotgun. Come on. First off. my friend. down here. Watch yourself. Watch out here. Stay low under here. Okay from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. Probably need to eat something. Cigarettes ain't gonna help. Sure. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Keep moving then. Come on. Dad! Marston, you hear me? John, can you hear me? John! Come here! Out on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Down here! He's down here. The fella's there! That's quite a scratch you got there. Oh, Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm old. <clears throat> I'm freezing. <clears throat> Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told 
Hope you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. <laughs> you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Only oh, barely. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, <laughs> even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Maidens? Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> west is best. We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and 
Been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. It's fun documenting your own journey. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. Okay. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Oh, it. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Safety precaution. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, yeah, Dutch. Yeah. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. All right. Shiny white door. Hmm. Looks like we got a few missions. Oh, oh your boys, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? No, sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole? always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. Oh. I'm getting too old for that life. 
Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Time to go rob a train, I guess. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. The camp near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. There's quite a few of them. Yeah. Huh? Oh, where are you going? Where, where are you going? Hey, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. Okay. You it's good, nice Dutch? Else. Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Calm O'Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. So once a while, just can't remember to shift. <laughs> See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Guard the horses. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Oh, dear. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. <laughs> Time to hunt some more drift. 
Oh man. Oh Driscoll. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Raffle, raffle, raffle. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Weapons. Need the. Oh. Aha. Okay. Probably be a better idea to bring the pistol along with as well. Good. Come on, let's go. All good. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said. Revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. All right. Watch out. This bit steep. Really, really beautiful environment. Can't wait to actually see some clear blue skies. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. All right. Down through these trees, quick. You got the gun out? So alive. if you want just make the call you want to take the lead go we have to move on this right now again okay fine you make the move kill them all Weapon. There's a, there's a 
just barely see him. <laughs> Got him in the neck there. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Very well. Do you recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking. We need everything we can get off of these bastards. Anything Keep in here? Searching the bodies, Archer. I am. I am. Just wanted to also see if there's any bit of loot. to each other. Tonic? I don't want to use dead eye tonic. Fine. I have to. Waste of a good dead eye tonic though. Increase my stamina. Jesus. Not a heavier than in the snow than I thought. Cool. Alright. Keep searching the in here. Get over here. Hang on, Dutch. Hang on, Dutch. Dead bodies I can loot. We don't have time to mess around. Oh, come on now. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Well. Anything, I'd say it's probably in the giant red box. 
Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? I think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Now you base. boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Outlaws Wait for until life. we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Yeah. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. your name, boy? I don't know. We don't know oh, no. your name. It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise questions. you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Shut it for you. Dark. I've only been running with them a couple of months. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. Please, I'll do anything. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> That's two bones. Damn. Merciless. Here we are. You 
sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Bada bing, bada boo. Remove here. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Who wants a free punching bag? You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Get warm for the night. chapter I suppose seems like the chapter ends once we do this train heist <coughs> Hello, we're gonna shit. starve to death up here mr. Morgan <sighs> mr. Pearson Hello. we're okay we have a few cans of food and a rabbit for what 10 12 people when I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Sounds Starving fun. will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Sounds like Charles. You got his mind made up. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. I actually want to uh, All right. Shot him. Let's head out. Got a small composite bow as a kid. It's pretty fun. Fight it out to a shooting range. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm OK, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. 
Uh, right north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John. That thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. Space. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I do like the cutscene kind of vibe with long transitions. I really wouldn't say it's a transition. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Uh, let's look down this way. Down the hill we go. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. I need to grab that boat, huh? Nope. Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Yeah, it's going to scare everything around. Bow. Rifle. Make sure we equip the bow. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Can do. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Eagle eye, huh? Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Awesome. Quite fairly easy to just see through the snow's impressions without even having to use Eagle Eye. Not unless, of course, the game decides to just throw up. Throw a sideball and just get rid of the tracks at some point. <laughs> Get that bow out, Arthur. I already got the bow. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Okay. Take the shot. Nice. Got him. See if you can get another one. Another one. Are there other tracks? Something over there. Something went across the river. Thank 
the wind blowing. Not that I can see my, my, my scent in the wind. Might be our only chance for a good meal. Well, I think it just fell over and died. Hmm. Oh. There you are. <laughs> Done. Okay, that'll do it. I think that's all we can carry. Forgive me, my good okay. friend. I'll go grab the other one. May your spirit return to find a better life than this. Horse! Great right, horse. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. Go you found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> You've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We yeah, ain't feeding so Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, oh. we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. We gotta talk about Big that bear. Bang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. I believe it.
disappear pretty quick. Oh, there it is. Does it disappeared pretty quick. Cut up here, off the trail. now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. Nope. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Oh, well, interesting background. We need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. I he always like sees that. us right. Yeah! How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. But you ride on me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Whoa! Loyal horse. I guess it counts as a giant horse. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! Pigeon horse. That's good. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Thankfully, I like playing a lot of games that involve shooting bows. Well, well, well! <clears throat> well? Just drop it down in here. Well, that is. <clears throat> what a surprise! find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only rum. thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> Go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. Yeah. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Can to hide? 
Huh. Take some level of coke. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, uh, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> actually, for a science project, I had to actually skin a chipmunk and stuff it. It's been a bad few weeks, but... It's quite an interesting little Dutch science lab. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. <laughs> but we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus money. Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him? Okay. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch, gentlemen, it is time to and make something Dutch has of a ourselves. Magnificent coat. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! All right! We're moving out! Follow Ooh. me! Time to get some clear skies a little bit. Now that is the view I like to see. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier? You two take the front cars and deal with any guards. After this mission, I'll Arthur, try and run Mike, through the, uh, you head straight the for the back. For That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's game that private I now car. Have, as a part of my you stream. and me, Morgan. Ray, have you got a problem with that? How do you keep your head for once? Uh, you worry about yourself, huh? Enough! So please after bear Bill me. blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride.
taking a day. Oh no, it's Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, be a... ah! There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh, I thought I cut him off because of the... <laughs> because I ran into him. Whoa! Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What you got? How you getting on? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Can I help a little? Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Sounds like one up. Should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right. Gotta take your horse. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Have to say, I'm rather looking forward to this. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. <gasps> What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Get back on the horse. Everything okay? I think so. That's it. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute. Equip bandana. Now. There we go. Cutscene did it for me. Time to rob a train. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do.
Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened? Yo, I was punching the crap out of him! <laughs> Retry the checkpoint? Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. 
any more of you. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Blow the cap. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Three, two, one. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Time to go introduce All ourselves. Right, come on. There's one going out here. Oh. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was expecting a space bar. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, oh yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your name? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Dear Mr. Cornwall, okay. we are yet to receive the payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Olapi Indian Reservation. Umbarino has agreed in the contract between Cornwall and Kerosene and Tar and the Leyland Oil Development Company dated November 9, 1898. That's how it's done. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of our project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Make yourself Yours respectfully, useful. At least we all James know you can read. Priestley, Give me those. Head of accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. Railroad contracts. Fun. Invoices. Blah blah blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. Ooh, a lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat Brandy. as long as I live. Another letter. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? What we got here? Uh, Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and your continued interest in the Jameson in Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Hamburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your well, sources. Let's keep looking. The coal industry is quite different from the it's oil the industry in a number of ways so i certainly remain open to a business meeting these at your just seem to be contracts to educate each uh, other on our respective have you ideas down the end there? expertise i would also be delighted to host you in ansburg and give you a Keep personal looking. tour of the mine and its associated something. facilities i look forward to further correspondence yours sincerely archibald jameson come on let's hurry this along boys what? gotta collect some little bit of lore with people not liking the lore. <laughs> Anything in the cabinet? Not in this one. How about over here? Ooh, strong box. No, this looks like something. Bonds. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I certainly hope they put a lot of lore in this game. I myself enjoy a good read every now and then. Another 
reason why I need to keep playing that werewolf game. It's got some pretty interesting lore as well. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Very good, very good. Now the real question is, what do we do with these three? I'll leave it in your hands this time. I may have actually taken the first one, but this time I shall wait for your response. Spare him or put him on the train? Okay. Well, first off. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. Hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Move it. Go on. is merciful. Mission accomplished. Oh, for Lord's sake! Put that book away and go help! So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey.
Take a look. Mapple. You all right back there? Is everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Right? You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Shut Let's up. <laughs> A wheel? See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. And I'll tell you. Whole lot of crap, I can tell you that, that's for sure. I feel real bad for them. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So. Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, where are we going? maybe it's where are we not. Going? Where are we going? I just where heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. Hurry it up. We've got work to do. Here we go. Here. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, I'm sorry. Don't so play with me. I one of your left. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. Gotta stay on the path. Remember. Well, tell that to the My horse. Was a colored man. <laughs> I'm holding down W, nothing while, else, and they just decided to wander people. off. <laughs> when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. Well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. Now, how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but 
We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. But things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Water. Oceans. Okay, let's go. Shit, I picked up the creep. <laughs> Any trouble getting in here, Javier? No. Nope. I forget. Well, Wait, well, Wait. No this is a way. good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Go for this inconspicuous path of the forest. I forget. They changed McCree's name, didn't they? been a while since I actually played Overwatch, so... Speed bump. <laughs> Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Right. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every Don't last nice one soup. of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. <laughs> now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know the meeting. that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. 
Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. Mud and morons. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Well, damn. Stick a dynamite, that one. I'd ask how many chapters are in this game, but I don't want spoilers. Couple of weeks later. Achievement unlocked. Back in the mud. We got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. Sleeping dragon. His eyes are sparkling once more. And Feels like watching you can a see movie. He's thinking a little clearer. Indeed. I think and we welcome. all feel This is your first time chatting, I see. Spirit's Spirit black blessed. water in that whole mess. Arthur. Right Jose. <sighs> I'd show you my VTuber <laughs> model, today. but uh. Seems Let's that it's so. having a bit of issue There's a running bunch this of the boys already in Valentine. And the uh, Bill, Charles, video and capture. Javier. <laughs> and Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> I'm gonna read a book. Camera. Old Apple F1 for details. Let's actually take a look at this. It allows you to take pictures of your surroundings. Oh, that's okay. It's nice to see the full screen. Yes. In terms of this game, I will definitely have to run it with just the game. Oh. I do like this compendium. But real quick, now that we've got a moment to ourselves, there's something I want to try and share with all of you. And it might require me to pause and quickly tab out so I can access my Discord and pull up the information for all of you. Won't take more than a moment. Let's see. Here we are. So, let's see here. Commands, there we go. So basically, I added onto my stream a Pokemon community game, which basically means that a Pokemon will randomly appear in my chat after around 15 minutes of stream time. And uh, you guys, if you guys want to try and participate, you can go ahead and type in, and I'll actually type it in real quick right here. You can actually type in exclamation mark pokey start, and the game will basically give you a starter Pokemon to begin your jetty, your journey. Um, outside of that, whenever a Pokemon appears in the chat. You'll be able to type the um, you'll be able to type the command that comes along with the appearance prompt, which is um, exclamation Pokeball. Oops, I may have added one too many L's there, but um, basically, you also have Poke Help to look at the commands as well. The rest of the commands, I should say. But when a Pokemon appears in the chat, you can 
type in exclamation point pokeball and you'll basically be so entered for a chance to actually catch it and i know for a fact that as long as you continue communicating in the chat every so often you'll slowly build up points which you can use those points to buy better pokeballs from great balls ultra balls and i believe a master ball which is the most expensive so keep an eye out for whatever pokemon that you want um pokeballs i believe you have an infinite number of so should be fun and interesting seeing what kind of teams you guys build up um for me i've already started as you already saw i already have a pass and my um starter pokemon that i was randomly given was actually litten <laughs> so if you guys want you can go ahead and type in poke start and enjoy the stream as well as the random pokemon that appear if not i just hope you enjoy the stream let's continue and i think let's see here we've got three different missions we can do right now stream is great oh, arthur my Thank boy you. my dear boy oh what's going on nothing nothing at all for the first time in weeks nothing we're free we're f free to plan our own futures once more i hope so dutch you kept the faith arthur you always kept it and i ain't losing it now excellent and thank you rebel or order for the compliment i certainly hope to uh morning, continue arthur. improving my stream for you guys it's actually come quite a long way from just simply streaming for fun. Sitting at almost what now? 32, 33 followers? Only a few more and then I can try and uh, actually apply to poten potentially become an affiliate. And I have all of you to thank for it. So, once again, thank you for all of your support. Now let's go ahead and try and talk to somebody here and do a mission. Well now. Hey, Uncle. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Be careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. A million followers? So, while the rest of us are busy stealing... I can definitely hope for I can definitely Fighting hope to so. try to survive. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Well, sure. Much. I got some errands to run. Great. Well, thank you very Go much check for sticking the around. Horses are ready. So long, sleeping dragon. <sighs> certainly hope you may decide to follow as well. You gonna take the old man into town? I'm not gonna force you to take on, us of course. too. Well, what you got a plan? And... Nothing. See we'll find what something else for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Move up. the trees here, then take a left. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down now. Yeah. Gotta be careful around this butt. There's speed bumps. <laughs> Ladies, play us a song. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not a girl in Fairyville. Can't be scared to see Danville. So I don't go down there no more. This little no, rocky. Excuse you, what the heck? Go right here, it's quicker. Oh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. This man 
runs in front of my carriage. I run into him and knock him down. And... What the f- <laughs> We're retrying that. What the hell was that? Alright, out through the trees here, then take a left. Don't run people over. It wasn't my fault. He ran out in front of me. Literally. I was trying to turn around and he was... I was trying to turn away from him. And he just ran in front of me. <laughs> uh, it's basically just a western version of Grand Theft Auto. Ladies, play us a song. <laughs> Not around anymore. Calm down, calm You're down, okay. calm down. Don't go charging. Don't go charging. Good. All good. This way. Come on. Always remember to be a kind Samaritan. Train came around and ran us over. I would be pissed. <laughs> Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Study the horse. God, so it's a shire. <laughs> Can we study these horses? No? Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if he's just gonna keep walking into that train, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. 
Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Bounty hunters? Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Probably Let's park not. up down the end there, near the stables. I'm expecting bar fights and a few other things. Something else. <laughs> Just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> he only lasts you one shot. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. <laughs> Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Who's company? Morning. Why it's big game callers, animal sense? Oh, okay. So, what do you need? Fungus. Yeah, yeah, or a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the wheels. Jesus. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Rum, premium cigarettes, canned sweet corn, just a whole bunch of j just general stuff. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Hair promade? Would anyone like to explain to me what hair bromade does? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? Apply the hair to slick back? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Huh. Well, this well, here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Ripe cheese. Predator bait, herbivore bait. Well, look at this. Forty-seven dollars. What is this list of yours? I uh, got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. All Price done. Thank you kindly. Pocket watch. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Classic oat cakes. That's Horse your reviver. Let's go wait for them outside. Revives horsemen severe injury or moderate and moderately restores its health. Well, if we want to try and keep our horse alive, I will go ahead and say... Yes. Buy that. Yep. <laughs> I'll buy two, just to be safe. Now, where's this coffee that I was told to buy? Herbivore bait, carnivore bait, candy. Chewing tobacco, sweet corn, sorted biscuits, ground coffee. Here we are. All the best, fellers. Yeah, buy one more. Why not? Probably better just grab some more food too. I don't really care too much for slicking back hair. Basic food. And because we're probably gonna have to do a bit of hunting to help out the camp. How about a little bit of both? I think that should do. Oh, here. 
cheers to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Oh, jeez. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train Brazil. laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Oh, okay. Why? It seemed easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. Yeah. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Yep. All of them, a combination of words, drunk and feller. I've been looking too long. Use. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Good. No need to get physical. Trying Uncle. to keep a low profile. Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Gentlemen. Sir? To help the weak. Hey, partner. I may able to just wander around. Full belly and empty dick. I'm doing all right. I'll try upstairs. A bath, perhaps? Well, the music doesn't sound. No trouble now, please! Yeah, the music doesn't sound a good tone. To hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! Jesus. I paid for no. Talking yeah. now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. No problems, no problems. Just uh, coming to pick up a friend. Staying in one of your rooms for the night, you know? Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Go get! Oh dear. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be That's careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give more. Hey, more Just bone it. Don't worry. I'll return them. Get back here right now. 
First off, let me ask you a few questions here. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me I too. I could kill him at any point. Now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. How long can you hold? What'd you Just think, guys? Me up. Come on! Got to be at some point. I can't. I oh. hold. Shit. <laughs> May have taken a little too long. May should have just helped him. <laughs> it could be useful. Well, it's useful now. <laughs> Not saying a word anymore. Might require, might require uh, my own intervention on that one. <laughs> New horse. But he ain't mine, so might as well just go ahead and return him. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Well, did at least good one, one good deed. <laughs> All right. How's everyone else doing? Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest Tig Mountain Man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's all, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Well, damn. Excuse me. <laughs> well, damn. Well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch you? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Bar fight. <laughs> Why'd you have to use the chair? Spam it! 
Bam. Up from that. I'm here to use some help, Morgan. Hey, tough guy. <laughs> Yeah, you this guy's built like a mountain man. Huh? <laughs> Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? Go with just scared. Huh? Alright, well. Ah, uh, block. Uh, oh, God. Come on, let's. Uh, yeah. Oh. You okay there? Yeah. I got this son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, he's got me right now. Here you Let me go. You're going down in the mud. Not before I put you there first. Come on, nigga. Gotcha. Oh. Ah, oh, that was the opening. Dang. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I thought I was dead. Oh, jeez. Break free! Now it's your turn. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Yeah, that definitely hurt. <clears throat> Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. <laughs> I've missed up. you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... They're dead. Ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, get go get yourself up. cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Gonna have to find a way to clean off my suit. Look like I just got ran over by a carriage. All right. Well, I mean, probably too far away for my for my horse to hear me. to get a job, mister. Way too old. Mm. Can't we be friends? Homeless vet. 
Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Always make friends. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. Oh. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Could be a ruse. Seems genuine, though. Give him a hug, guys. Get lost. Oh. I'm okay. sorry, mister. So this game is one of those act on, act on influences. Yes. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, come on, come on. Can I, come on, I'm sorry. Can I give you a hug? Come on, come on. Okay, so. Quick responses, quick responses. Definitely one of those games where it's not really gonna be a chat decides, I guess. Apologies, everyone. I wonder. There is a map. Is there? I think a lot of the choices in the game are time-based. Yeah. I have come to realize this myself. <laughs> Kind of feel bad. Pretty well made. Yeah, indeed. Is there any way to fast travel? Otherwise, I'm going to be basically walking all the way back. Every time. What's that? Whistling range? Yep, yep, yep. Pretty good. There's still some question mark over there. I'm trying to figure out the main quests for now, I suppose. Hello. Greetings, there you go. Question marks aside, quests. <sighs> well, I'll figure we'll try and do another side quest if it's still available right now, I guess. Waltzing through here like you own the place, but the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. I've only got to click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. Alrighty. You want me to set you straight, huh? I we'll be sure prepare. to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. Noted. Oh. Incoming church. Hey, look Wee. out already. Something going on in here. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Plato. Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. Well, One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. And that's your where friend. I <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. 
I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. The Either duel. I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. <laughs> well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down. If I may. Be my guest. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, Everybody and forgive them. me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, mm -hmm. Billy Midnight, nice pictures. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. <gasps> oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. Fair enough. <laughs> well, it's gonna take me a long time to get back over to the camp, so I'll probably just do that off stream. It is indeed getting late around me, so I am probably gonna have to call it here. Everybody? Thank you so much for chat for joining me today. Very much a pleasure being able to have a very active chat join me tonight. If you uh, liked what you saw, please do consider following. And if you're catching the uh, VOD on YouTube, gotta play this again later. Yeah, I'll definitely come back to this game. Don't worry about that. Um, but if you're checking this um, video on YouTube, please do consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you all so much for joining, and thank you Sleeping Dragon for sticking around. Until next time, my friends, spirits bless. Have a good night.